ג'וזי מייסטר שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. <laughs> welcome to Israel. Thank you again, yes. Juzi, you are running a fantastic blog. Thank you so much. La Biblioteca de Israel. Yes, right. Yes, it's right. Yes. And it's truly amazing. Thank you. Sometimes when I look at it, I think, you know, Israel literature better than I do. You're too kind, thanks so much. So, how did it start? Well, it started almost uh, three years ago, and it began with uh, an interview with uh, Mr. Aaron Appelstad in Milan, where he got a prize for his career. It's called uh, La Rosa d'Oro, Milanesiana. And so the first uh, interview was with him. And that's how it started, just three years ago. Three years ago? Three years ago. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And you are probably uh, intrigued by, not only by Israeli literature, by Israeli language, because a small <laughs> bird has whispered <laughs> in our ear. that you have studied Hebrew while here. How did it go? I just, I just started, you know, I'm a beginner. Um, so uh, it's a very difficult and fascinating language. I uh, really love it. It will surely take me years before being able to speak it, of course, or read it. But I hope to be, to be able to Yes, of course, because I, I would love to read uh, Israeli authors in the original language. I think that when you love a culture, you want to also learn the language. So... <laughs> Amazing. Why Israeli literature? Why? Well, uh, I don't know why. It started with uh, a book by David Grossman many years ago. I was a teenager. Now I'm a bit older. <laughs> And it was Be My Knife. che tu sia per me il coltello and it was the very first book by an Israeli author and I don't know, it blew me away, you know, it was such a, an experience for me and so I thought that I had to learn more about the culture that was behind this author and so the second uh, writer I read after Mr. Grossman was Yushua Knias and then Amogos and all the others, you know. So we have to thank the big person. Yes. Oh, well, I have to thank him as well, you know, one day. I would be honored if I could meet him. Israeli authors yes. are being translated to Italian. Yes. And the Italian audience is uh, interested in Israeli authors? Yes, They are much. doing well? Yes, much. Yes, they're much. They're, they're very interested in uh, Israeli, yes, Israeli culture also, yes. yes. Who are the people who enjoy your blog? Do you know? Yeah, I don't know them. I just know some of them, you know. Uh, but I think that uh, most of them are my age. So 35, 45 years, you know. This is the range. And most of them have uh, lots of good uh, knowledge of foreign languages. Most And of them are in Rome? Yeah, no, 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 they're everywhere. Oh, also Europe. Yes, yeah, so also I have But they Europe. should know Italian. No, because the blog, you know, the interviews are uh, in Italian and English. And English. So, um, it is for everyone. Now, I know that you are a very busy <laughs> young lady. How do you manage to keep this blog so updated, so interesting? Because I love, um, I love Israeli culture. So, when you love something, you also find the time to do many things. You so, know? it's a mission of love. It's, it's a mission of love, that's right, yes. Lucky us. What can we wish, uh, Juzi? What can we wish the blog? What can we wish you? Um, to keep, I think to keep 
pa interviewing authors to keep uh, learning about the culture and all. So we wish you all that and more. Thank you. We want to thank you. Thank you. To wish you a bon voyage home. Oh, thank you. Yes, I get back home tomorrow. All right. And come again. Yes, I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom, shalom.